Ten at Gracie, Heat on Gracie. We're at, uh, where are we right now? Alaska State Troopers. Alaska, Sitka, Alaska. Sitka, Alaska, a little island out here. Yeah. And uh, this is the main training academy for the Alaska State Troopers. Village, public safety officers, individuals who work in these very secluded towns and regions, so much so that they don't have established law enforcement community. And uh, those people are here for a 10 week training course. And as part of that, defensive tactics, Gracie survival and tactics. And they're unarmed. Unarmed officers. Well, they're, they're, they aren't actually police officers. They're volunteers of the community, and uh, and they're unarmed, and we're here to teach them. So they don't even need weapons. All they need is Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, and we're keeping it super real. Thanks to uh, Sergeant Grant Miller, who brought us up here, one of the Gracie Survival Tactics instructors, and uh, we're very grateful for the invitation. Are you going to wear that? This is a seal hat right here, seal fur. Now, I like seals, you know what I'm saying? They're cute animals, but let's keep it real. We're in Alaska right now, and this is a survival situation. We're about to go outside right now and work with these guys. We already did some grappling in the gym, taught them some cool techniques, and uh, we're about to go outside and put the techniques to the test in the ice, in the snow. First time for us, and uh, he keeps it sealed, and I keep it real. <laughs> Ranger. It doesn't matter what you know on your feet, right? You get in a confrontation like this where two people are aggressing towards each other, determined to hurt one another, it, uh, there's no question that it's going to the ground. The fight will go to the ground. And your base is too wide. Therefore, you cannot trap and roll. He don't flattens his leg, works my knee, slips out, puts me in the guard. Once in the guard, watch what he's going to finish with. I'm going to throw a couple punches right here. Let's reach for our partner's face. Reach, reach, reach. If you can't, once you exhaust, he don't push me away. Stuff to the hand, big shrimp, push off the body, and then full base get up. He's jumping up, bracing the body, and there he goes. Okay, so we got two trap and rolls, we have an elbow escape, and we have a guard get up off the elbow escape. After all of those, we're going to switch rolls top to bottom. So one person does the whole sequence. Any questions? Yes, you guys like my hat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's go. Arms over his arms. 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 his arms. Over his arms. Over his arms. Over this is like Gracie Academy mats right here, okay? We have some nice, like, look at my foot. It goes in pretty nice, okay? If it wasn't for the freezing days, we could train out here all day, okay? Like the beaches of Rio de Janeiro. We got some give right here. We're okay. <laughs> this is the bottom line. If the techniques aren't second nature, meaning they are, they, are, they are only utilized through conscious thought, if the techniques only surface through conscious thought, yet your conscious thought is consumed with the environmental stress that is present, guess what you have? Conflicting interests there. Mm -hmm. You can't focus on the move and focus on how freezing you are. So what's the only answer to this? Focus on Muscle the move. memory. We can guarantee one thing. The better you know the moves, the sooner you will get out of the cold. Let's make sure that what we do then is we multiply our in indoor effectiveness times four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the day we get out here and we're operating on 25%, that 25% is more than enough to save our life and get us home to our family. 10 4? Yes, sir. Sure. Cool. Thank you guys. Let's go inside. Firearm safety rules all guns are always loaded, always assume the worst. Like Gracie Jiu Jitsu, prepare for the worst. Number two, never let the muzzle cover anything you are not willing to destroy. The muzzle is the little hole. Don't let the muzzle cover, meaning point at anything you don't want to kill. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger until your sights are on the target and you have decided to fire. This is your finger. You guys know the trigger. I mean, keep it off the trigger. And number four, be sure of the target as well as the surroundings and beyond. Okay? So if you're going to shoot the bad guy, make sure there's no grandmas around him or near him. They're gonna shoot who? The bad guy. Got it. What'd you think? Nothing. Okay, this is the uh, Alaska State Trooper, Department of Public Safety, Training Academy, Firing uh, Range Headquarters. He's wearing noise canceling headphones. That's why he's yelling, so you know. <laughs> Stand back. Bro, go to full auto and do not go. There we go. Now you're full auto. 
It's gonna go up like this. It, it's gonna so hold it straight. You don't say hold hi to your friends. Hold it where you want it. What's up? Um, I'm a little nervous right now about my whole bass situation. Yeah, just <laughs> lean into it, bro. I'm not that confident right now. Believe it or not. You got this. <laughs> You're gonna own it. You're gonna make it your own. They okay. can't control them, they hope to contain. You pulling that trigger down. You see that? You don't even know your true potential. That's what's crazy, right? I didn't even know I, I was going to be that like a comfortable pro. with it. Bro, how could you doubt he don't grace you? It's the same. My grandfather would always say, he don't, you don't know what you're capable of. Until <laughs> I'll go do it, and I'm like, man, you're right. I am good. Like a video? <laughs> that was fun. Henry's shooting skills would definitely qualify him as the Alaska State Trooper. He has a crack shot. Uh, absolutely uh, come out here, rock that 100-yard dong with a handgun. Something that can't be done by a whole lot of people. Very impressive. The last frontier. Crazy. What's up, guys? <laughs> Those are your, your friends? This is the last frontier. Everyone says hi to everyone around here. You guys, it's so interesting. You come to Alaska, you don't know what to expect. Except for bald eagles. And guess what? You get that, too. You know? Not only did I see a bald eagle, I saw a bald eagle and her baby. It's crazy. It's like... When you envision what is National Geographic, this is it right here. Look no further than the last frontier. Our friend Grant Miller here made it all possible. Just the most beautiful little harbor, Sitka, Alaska. Dang it, I see my <laughs> We'll cut that part out, don't worry. That's a volcano, you guys. It doesn't matter that it hasn't erupted in a long time. So cool. This is Alaska right there. Look no further than the last frontier. He wants me to jump in the water. But you know what? It's not gonna happen. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>